How you guys feel today? Hopefully you guys feel the same like what I feel today. I feel happy and excited to be back with you guys in this class. Okay. All right, guys. So are you guys ready for the class? Hopefully you do, okay? Well, today we're going to learn, uh, continue with chapter eight, guys. Chapter eight. Second. Okay. Uh, hari ini kita lanjutkan dengan pembelajaran uh, bab delapan yang berbi yang yang uh, intinya itu uh, bagaimana kita membuat perencanaan untuk pergi ke berbelanja ya berbelanja ke supermarket oke okay. so So this is the second meeting for this chapter. Hopefully, uh, okay. Uh, I believe Mr. Tony already sent you guys the PDF for the explanation of the idioms, all that uh, words, the sentences that's uh, highlighted in this uh, conversation. Yes. Um, I apologize for the delay of sending it because I was really swamped last week. Okay, so I just had a time on the weekend to finish it up until today. But it's a really low low, so I believe you guys can catch up with that really quick. Okay. All right, so let's do the um, role play, guys. Let me see. There's a game. Okay. Second, I'm gonna get my note. All right, guys. So I see Miss Fu. Oh, thank you for your spirit interest to learn with us today. All right. Let's see. I have Miss Fu. You are doing uh Martha's dialect number one and One, two, and three, okay. And then I'll have Nani is doing Laura's dialect number three, four, five. Jennifer is going to do Laura's number one and two. Rosella, you are doing Martha's dialect number four, five, six. Beautiful name like the flower, Rosella. The, that turns into the drink. And then I have Angelia. Angelia, you are doing Laura's dialect number six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight of uh, Laura's dialect for Angelia. Linda doing Martha's number seven, eight, nine. Miss Lily is doing Mart uh, Laura's number nine, ten, eleven. I have Disha Noor. Disha Noor doing Martha's dialect number 10, 11, and 12. Miss Fanny, you are doing Laura's number 12, 13, 14. And then Mr. Amin's doing Martha's number 13, 14, 15. I have one, two, four, five. Five more spots available, guys. Okay. Uh, let's wait for the rest of the class to join. Maybe they're still trying to connect and then anything with the connection. Let's give them a little bit time. Meanwhile, if you have any question, you can uh, write on the chat. Okay, what's uh, about this conversation that you don't understand or anything else, okay? I will wait until uh, 7.10, okay, guys? Let them connect, try to get their self ready. 
So I have six more spots available. Uh, sorry, it's five actually. Five by seven ten. If we don't see anybody else raising hands, then I'll assign to you guys again. Double the. Okay, actually, I see Dian. Dian, you are doing Laura's dialect number 15, 16, 17. Okay, Dian. Thank you for joining the role play here, Dian. All right, so we have four more spots, guys. Okay, let's see if. Anybody has question? You can write on the chat, okay? Okay, so last week we finished all this. Um, let's see what we did last week. Okay, so today I'm going to explain to you guys the idioms and then some sentences that's been uh, using in the dialects is more specifically okay and then uh you guys already doing this you finish doing the conversation question and answers and then today we're going to do the comprehension test. Okay, we have low, We have uh, enough time. We will continue with the discussion. That way, when doing discussion, you guys can use your own sentences. Uh, learning how to build your own uh, words, sentences like that, using all your grammar of vocabularies to build your own sentence in your own words like that. All right, guys. All right. Let's see. Let me pull it up to the very top. All right, there you go. Check. All right, another minute, then I'll assign to you guys double the dialogues, right? Jadi di dalam uh, bab ini berbicara tentang mengajarkan kita bagaimana kita membuat perencanaan sebelum berangkat ke supermarket untuk berbelanja. Oke, okay. so it's actually it's going to the market. Alright, you're not in a supermarket yet, so that's going to be a different. Go. All right, so it's seven ten already. Let me assign the rest to you guys. All right, so I'll have Miss Fu doing Martha's dialect number 16, 17, 18 also. And then 16. Okay, and then Nani, you are doing Laura's 18 and 19. Jennifer's doing Martha's 19, 20, and 21. And Rosella is going to do Laura's number 20 and 21. All right, listen up class. I'm going to repeat again, all right? Miss Fu doing Martha's dialect number one, two, three. And then Laura's number one and two is taken care by Jane. 
Laura's three, four, five for Nani. Martha's four, five, six taken care by Rosella. Laura's six, seven, eight is by Angelia. Martha's seven, eight, nine is by Linda. Laura's nine, ten, eleven, Lily, Miss Lily. Martha's ten, eleven, twelve by Disha. Laura's 12, 13, 14 by Miss Penny. Martha 13, 14, 15, Mr. Amin. Laura's 15, 16, 17 by Diane. Martha 16, 17, 18, Miss Fu. Laura's 18, 19, Nani. Martha's 19, 20, and 21 by Jane. Jennifer. Laura's 20 and 21 by Rosella. All right, allow me to unmute you guys. As always, try to have the least background Good sound. Good evening, guys. Good How are you doing? Good evening, Miss uh, Fan. Good evening, Miss How's it going, guys? Hope you guys doing great today huh at work at school whatever you did during the day good evening good evening, good evening. how is it going good evening um, me good evening how's the weather very hot i know huh today it's pretty hot i don't know what's good going evening, on miss. Good evening, Jane. Okay, uh, Disha, allow me. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, I think everybody already unmuted. So, whenever you're ready, Miss Fu, everybody already remember your parts, right? Okay. Disha and Rosella are still mute. Okay, Rosella, yes. Rosella, allow me to unmute you. Okay. Rosella, are you here? Yes, miss. I'm here. Okay. Oh, there, there you go. Okay, everybody already? Disha, huh? Disha, are you here? Then, All right, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Angelia is, is still mute. Angelia also. Angelia also. <laughs> Let's see. Where is she? Angelia. Angel. Oh, yes. Down there. All right. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome, Miss. All right. Perfect. Also All right. Angelia. All right. Whenever you're ready, guys. Mom had asked, asked me to, to go to grocery, grocery shopping before she left to, for work this morning. But I need to finish my school project. Can you go for me, Marta? I guess I can. I'm done with my homework. What did mom want, to, want you to buy? Well, she wanted me to buy enough groceries for the whole, whole week. Besides meat, some fish and vegetables. We can fish tables. We can buy whatever else we want for snacks and breakfast. And breakfast. What do you, what do you want for breakfast? I guess some cereal as usual. I do not want cereal every day. I will buy some pan pancakes and syrup then. Get the new pan food pancakes in the frozen food section, please. Let's see how it tastes. Do we still have enough coffee and cream for mom and dad? Yes, we do. Talking about coffee and cream, you better buy some meals also. We almost, almost run out of it. Next, what do you want for cake for snake? 
Some chips would be fine with me. You probably want your chocolate cookies. I better write down all these things. Otherwise, I will forget them by the time I get to the market. I would hate to make the to make two trips to take care of things. Right. As far as meat, mom wants some pork and some chicken. Just any kind of pork? I forgot to ask mom about that. Anyways, you can ask the butcher for his opinion. He knows what is best. How about fish? Mom wants some salmon and some catfish. Make sure that they all they, they are fresh. How much salmon and catfish should I buy? Oh, buy four pieces of wait, wait. salmon, fillet, and four pieces pieces for of catfish fillet. Mom does not like to get the whole, the whole fish. Are the fish a pilot or all by weight or by the piece? I'm not very sure. Just buy for ten size pieces. Not too big and not too small. Yes, get some ground pepper and some garlic. Now, how about a vegetable? Mom um, probably wants carrots, potatoes, cabbage, and some liquid. That would be fine. We need some fruit also. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Mr. Amin is here. Yeah, I hear. Okay. And I'm uh, talking. That, yes, uh, that, that always take and pepper for lunch every day. I want the same thing. We have already run out of eggs. So get a carton of eggs also. How about some soft drink? I need to put black on the list for before I forget so I get one loaf of two. One loaf, one loaf will be enough. Put down a bag of rice also. Martha 16, Seven. and then Martha 16, Miss Fu, do we need anything for dessert? It should be Dian, huh? I don't see Dian, huh? Okay, get a box of ice cream. Ice cream? Is an ice cream pack packet with sugar? Yes, but same. But since I already drink water instead of soft drinks, one or perhaps two scoops of ice cream after dinner is not too bad. Besides, mom loves ice cream, especially cherry vanilla. And then uh, cherry vanilla, 18. Um, uh, Miss Fu is here. Yes. Okay, I will put down one box of ice cream if you say so. 
Do you want me to buy some pastries for you? I know the pastries at the market are delicious. However, no is no no is my answer. Do not and do do not tempt me, Martha. Just asking, Laura. Miss, what, uh, what number that I will talk about? Who's this? Martha? Uh, Laura, Laura 20 is or Rosella. Oh, I see. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Nani then. I'm not able to answer. Yes. The list is quite long. By the time I get to the castle, uh, uh, okay, I will probably have a few shopping cart. Okay, I'm all set to go. I will be back soon. Actually, Nani doing Laura's number 20 and 21. Okay, repeat again, please. Number? Laura's the red numbers, tw Laura's 20 and 21. You you have quite a few items to take care of. You need to get going. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. The list. Uh, my turn? Isn't it my turn? Uh actually it's Jennifer. Oh okay. Okay. Go ahead. Jim. Yes, the list is quite long. By the time I get to the cashier to pay, I will probably have a full shopping cart. Okay, I'm all I'm all set to go. I will be back soon. Yeah, carefully, please. I will. All right, perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, so let's have a little discussion about this, guys. One sec. Let's review some of the pronunciation. Not much. Okay, I'll see. I have Laura's number two. Laura's number two. Pay attention to the word vegetables. All right. This is second. Okay. Vegetables. Okay. All right. Okay. Here is vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. Okay. Differentiate this first so you guys can pay attention. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Really quick. Mm -hmm. Well, um, okay, there you go. All right, so the one I underlined, pay attention because that's a uh, uh, Yes, in the when you go to the society, okay, uh, especially when uh for the the society with the uh, English as a second language, okay, uh, it's this word is like ninety percent pronounced wrong, 
okay? So it's vegetables, okay? Like also another word that you're gonna see is sesame, okay? It's sesame street instead of sesame, okay? It's spelled as S-E-S-A-M-E, -S -S okay? Okay, uh, when you spell that, it's not sesame, it's sesame street, okay? That's the movie or, or the sesame seeds, okay? Some words like uh yes, it's the 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 second phrase is uh, uh it's the, the spell as S A M E. Okay, when it's stand by itself, we're gonna pronounce it as same. Okay, let me write it down so you guys have the idea what I'm talking about right here. Okay, look there, look at this. The remember the movie Sesame Street. Okay. Well, it's not that right. Okay, Sesame Street. So that's actually, you spell it as Sesame instead of the uh, Sesame, okay? Yes, when I was learning for the first time also, I believe when I was in, a, uh, well, um, my first year learning English, I was pronounced that as Sesame Street, okay? And then that's the process of learning, okay? You're gonna make the, uh, you're gonna miss something, but you're gonna learn from that and then you remember and then correct yourself, okay? So uh, yes, yeah, so this is a Sesame Street. And then the, another word that uh, we mostly, first time learner, okay? Uh, vegetables, all right? So pay attention to that. Okay, like say another word here. All right, break, break, okay. Break breakfast, 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 okay. So this, uh, this sentence here, uh, the, the uh, word here is break and then con uh, con uh, con consists of break and fast so you take a really quick break to eat okay breakfast okay breakfast break instead of break okay breakfast breakfast okay what do you want for breakfast okay all right and then let's say another martha number five martha number five we have the word uh, snacks. What do you want for snacks? Snacks, okay. And then uh, Laura's number 10. Laura's number 10. No, okay, another word here. Fish. All right. And then we just S H. The fall for S H is like that. So when you see the words ending with S H, then you're gonna have the 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 sounds of sh, like that. Fish, okay. Catfish, she, she, okay. And then wish, okay. Instead of just wish, it's wish. She wish shish to buy catfish, all right? You see the different SH, right? Okay, she wishes to buy catfish, all right, like that. And then next we have the uh, Martha number 12. Martha number 12. All right, that's the word of vegetables. And then here we have Cabbages, okay? Instead of, this is plural, remember. Plural, pronounce that S as hard as. Carrots, potatoes, cabbages, cabbages, and some lettuce, all right? Remember the plurals, guys. Jadi kalau jamak selalu yang berakhiran dengan huruf S, huruf S-nya itu saat diucapkan harus sangat jelas ya S-nya, okay? And then we have carton. 
Laura number 14. So get a carton of eggs. Okay. Carton of eggs. Carton. Car get a carton of eggs also. Carton of eggs itu maksudnya gini. Uh, biasanya di supermarket itu dijual uh, satu kotak, satu kotak telur itu yang isinya itu kalau tidak 10 tergantung ya ke, uh, yang uh, tergantung dari supermarketnya ya ada yang um, satu karton itu isinya 10, ada yang isinya 18. So they don't sell by the way. Oke. Okay? So they they sell by carton. Oke, okay? that's how they sell the eggs. And then We have 17 Martha packed. It's an ice cream packed with sugar instead of packet. Okay, it's an ice cream packed with sugar pack. You can hear the pack. Okay, the ED. All right, and then next I have Laura's number 18. Laura's number 18. That's going to be the scoops. One or perhaps two scoops of ice cream after dinner is not too bad. Okay, this is scoops. Dua sendok, okay? Dua sendok ice cream yang bulat itu ya, yang khusus untuk ice cream, okay? That's called scoops, okay? That's two, one or, satu atau sendok, sendok ice cream. And then we have, besides, Mom loves ice cream, especially cherry vanilla. Okay, instead of vanilla, it's vanilla, vanilla, cherry vanilla. Okay, and then other than that, perfectly pronounced and uh, intonation is uh, improving, also, guys. So Let's continue with our expression here. The, okay. Uh, let me share the different file. All right, there you go, guys. So right here, I believe you guys already read it. Okay. Grocery shopping meaning going to the store that sells food and household supplies. Okay. Jadi grocery shopping itu seperti um, in other words in common US uh, usage grocery store is a synonym for supermarket. So jadi kalau uh, seseorang bilang oh saya uh, I'm going to go uh, to go grocery shopping meaning that I'm going to the supermarket. Okay? If the if you being uh, somebody in the US saying oh I'm uh, you want to go grocery shopping with me means do you want to Come with me to the supermarket. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, so usually the grocery shopping here. Okay, let's say in uh, in Indonesia, it's going to be like hypermart, right? It's like a uh, uh, super Indo. Those are uh, you when you go there, you're gonna say uh, I'm going grocery shopping like that. Okay, there. Okay, let's see the example how we use this word. We go grocery shopping every weekend. She loves to go grocery shopping at Target. Okay, Target is the name of the uh like a uh, kind of supermarket like that, but it's bigger than the supermarket like that because it's also selling shoes and and then also selling uh clothing there and then uh, uh some of the um, what they call uh electronics things. Okay, so it's. A lot, like uh, probably like a uh, hypermart like that, you know, for hypermart uh, and also care for, yes, like that. Okay, targets like that. Okay, and then let's see, we are leave for work, meaning leaving a place and then going to uh, to work. So when you're leaving the house, you're going to work. Okay, so you're gonna see leave for work. Okay, leave for school. Saya meninggalkan rumah pergi ke sekolah, like that, okay? So you instead of leave, leave for work for some another place, different place, okay? They leave for work at seven o'clock every day. She leaves for work after taking her daughters to school. 
And then I guess I can, meaning uh, uh, I, I guess I can, okay? It has the same meaning with uh, I think or I suppose, okay? Uh, let's see the example. I, I guess I can help them tomorrow. I think I can help them tomorrow, the same meaning, okay? I guess I can go on a vacation after final test. I think, okay, same meaning there also. Okay, next, I'm done with my homework, meaning that uh, the homework is already finished, okay? I can go with you because I'm done, okay? I'm done with my homework, okay? I missed the done here, okay? Right. She will help you after she's done with her homework. Enough for the whole week, meaning that the stock, whatever the stock, okay, the food, anything, paper, anything, any stock of a thing is sufficient for a week consumption. Jadi, uh, maksudnya itu persediaannya itu cukup untuk the, untuk uh, kebutuhan dalam uh, seminggu. Okay, let's see the example. Sarah bought enough grocery for the whole week. Mom told that we still have enough rice for the whole week. Mom told me that we still have enough rice for the whole week. All right. Next, frozen food. I believe you guys already know what is frozen food, huh? That's the food that we serve by freezing process and store in a freezer before being used or cooking, okay? Sample, Mary, Mary has a full freezer box of frozen food at home. Frozen food is a convenient way to enjoy food in a minute. Okay. I want to see how it tastes, meaning somebody want to uh, figure it out, okay? How the flavor of the food or the drinks, okay? Jadi, uh, uh, menunjukkan um, keingin tahuannya untuk uh, mengetahui rasa dari sebuah suatu makanan atau minuman. Linda told me to buy her a Mexican chimichanga at the new restaurant to see how it tastes. Okay. Okay. Run out of something, meaning the stock is not available. Okay. Jadi bahasa Indonesianya kehabisan. Okay, Walmart is run out of toilet papers. We ran out of rice yesterday. Kami kehabisan beras kemarin. By the time, meaning um, at the time or when. Okay, let's see the example here. By the time she showed up, I was finished eating. At the, you can uh, substitute with the word, this, uh, the idiom, at the time she showed up, I was finished eating, okay? Or you can also substitute that with, when she showed up, I was finished eating, okay? Then another example, I had lived in a 12 different cities by the time I turned 18, okay? By the time, when I turned 18, Okay. Dia, uh, saya sudah uh, tinggal di, di 12 kota yang berbeda-beda saat umur 18 tahun. So, it happened before he was, uh, I was 18, actually. So, taking care of something, meaning to deal with or do something. My assistant takes care of all our travel arrangements. Okay, take care of something. Jadi uh, maksudnya itu dia uh, melakukan sesuatu, oke, okay. uh, yang membutuhkan uh, usaha maupun membutuhkan uh, apa uh, perhatian yang khusus ya. And then let's see next. We have the the example. He offered to take care of the bill. Okay, now the take care, the take care of on the first sentence and the second sentence has different meaning, okay? Now on the first sentence, my assistant takes care of all our travel arrangement. Nah, itu maksudnya dalam kalimat pertama itu um, takes care of, uh, mengurus semua, okay? Mengurus semua uh, 
semua kebutuhan untuk uh, melakukan uh, perjalanan. And then the second one here, the take care of meaning to pay. He offered to take care of the bill means he offered to pay the bill. Okay, so it's a different meaning on uh, depends on the context of the sentence, guys. Next, we have the uh, word right is an expression showing agreement confirming to the facts or truth jadi menunjukkan bahwa adanya persetujuan jadi untuk mengkonfirmasi uh, kebenaran sesuatu fakta uh, oke okay. next time prove her right waktu membuktikan bahwa dia benar now we have the word marinate meaning to coat or cover the food with herbs okay jadi itu marinate itu artinya uh, seperti dalam bahasa indonesianya itu uh, uh, Hmm. Jadi dibumbuin ya, dibumbuin. Oke. Okay. So you cover the food with the herbs, spices and then let it rest, oke, okay, before you start cooking. Okay, or serving it. Serving like uh probably like salad like that, you just uh put the the herbs, spices, the oil, everything and then you mix it up and then that's it. Serve it. Okay, let's see the example. A lot of fish to marinate for six hours. Recipe says that you should marinate the chicken overnight. All right, next we have cut down on our intake sugar, meaning to reduce the amount of sugar that being eaten. And then we have a loaf of bread. Okay, here guys. Okay, so loaf here is describing the whole block of bread okay, that hasn't been cut. Okay, and then uh, remember when we go to uh, actually in uh, in US, I rarely saw the bread. Okay, let's say in an uh, uh, American uh, bakery. Okay, uh, most of the time they use they sell the whole loaf like that. Jadi satu satu plastik yang besar itu ya. Jadi ada yang uh, apa roti tawar begitu ya. Jadi uh, so most of the time uh, in the supermarket they're selling the uh, uh, the loaf of bread roti tawar itu ya. Jadi sangat jarang saya melihat uh, roti yang seperti yang dijual seperti di bread top gitu ya. Itu kan ada yang satu-satu yang untuk uh, one one consumption for each person. Okay, only uh, uh, I only found that uh, when you go to the uh, Asian bakery there. Okay, so when you go to the white uh, supermarket, what you can see is like the dinner rolls or those kind of uh, what do you call uh, that that loaf or the or the 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 buns for the burger or the, the loaf of the bread like that, the whole bread like that for uh, making sandwich, okay? So that's why, uh, jadi kalau beli satu plastik yang itu, yang belum dipotong-potong itu ya, roti yang belum terpotong, you're gonna say a loaf of bread. And then, and then two loaves of bread. When, the, when you make, um, so you, you, Two loaves is gonna be like this for the two rolls. Sorry, loaves of bread. Dua, jadi dua bungkus roti yang utuh begitu kira-kira ya. Kalau loaf of bread itu satu satu rot satu bungkus roti utuh. I might take, I might make six slices, sixteen slices of bread from a loaf of bread. Okay. Next, we have the word besides. Besides here uh, has the same meaning with in as well or also or in addition. Let's see the example here. Besides being a besides being a writer, Sophie is a painter. Okay. So meaning here, uh, Sophie is a writer, also a painter, okay? Tyra wasn't free on the night of the party. Besides, she wasn't even invited. Also, yeah, you get, also she wasn't even invited, okay? That's what the meaning. And then we have the word here, the idiom here, 
don't tempt me meaning to make someone want to have or do something that uh, unnecessary or wrong okay let's say example here i'm trying to diet don't tempt me with that cake jangan mem kira-kira bahasa indonesianya kalau terkait dengan uh, something like uh, to have like that then uh, you gonna say uh, jangan menggoda saya dengan makanan itu karena saya sedang uh, berusaha diet okay uh, you need to get going meaning you must leave right away okay you need get you need okay to get going here you get moving you need we need to get going or we'll be late okay yeah. Going. We need to get going or we'll be late. It's been a wonderful visit, but I really need to get going or I'll miss my train. Okay. So, jadi kita harus uh, segera berangkat begitu kira-kira. Shopping cart. Well, you guys know there's a word is shopping cart is it kereta yang eh, yang eh, yang yang di supermarket itu ya. Shopping cart. Okay. There are three items in your shopping cart. Now, I'm all set to go, meaning you're ready to go. I just have to iron my shirt, then I'll be all set to go. I will be back means I will return. She left earlier, but she will be back soon. I will be back on Christmas. I will return home on Christmas. That's what I mean. Well, that's the explanation of the uh, the groceries. Okay, let's go back to our main. Okay, the expression of the conversation there, guys. All right. So, you guys can uh, open up again if you're like uh, still not remembering it. Okay. That's quite easy for you guys, huh? okay? You, I believe you guys uh, hear that daily on the TV, on the movies, or maybe from the surrounding, okay? So that's quite easy for you, okay? Let's continue with our comprehension test, guys. All right, comprehension test. Related to the conversation about Okay, just to check how much you understand the, the point of the conversation instead of just like uh, reading it. Okay, let me see. Okay, number one. When did Laura's mom ask her to go grocery shopping? I'll have Miss Lily, okay? Try number one. When did Laura mom ask her to go grocery shopping? Okay, grocery. Grocery. Yes, so grocery. Uh, perfect. Um, when? Do you have the book there? Morning. What uh, can you repeat again, please? Oh. When did Rasma so, ask her to yeah. grocery to grocery shopping? Uh, she left for works this morning. I said to go. Grocery shopping. Before she left. Or before. She left. She left. For work this morning. This morning. For work this morning. This morning. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you, Miss Lily. Okay, next, number two. Why does Laura ask Martha to go to the market? Mengapa Laura meminta Martha untuk pergi ke supermarket? Pas ke supermarket, okay? I'll have. One second, okay. I'll have Miss Fanny. Why does Laura ask Martha to go to the market? Mengapa? Because she wanted Laura ask Martha. To go to go to, to go to the buy market in because because she wanted to buy enough groceries for the whole week. Okay, let's go back first, really quick. Okay, before that, I think there is a statement why she asked her. Okay, let's check it out together. All right, check it out. Right here. Check the situation here. Laura's mother had asked her to go to the grocery shopping before she went to work this morning. Since Laura is still busy with her homework, she asked her sister Martha to go to the market. Okay. Okay, so the reason is actually the mom asked Laura, but she couldn't go. So she asked Martha, the sister, to go to the market instead. Okay, so yes. And then you also can... Um, so the, uh, the main thing that... Uh, Jadi pertanyaannya kita balik ya. Pertanyaannya itu mengapa Laura itu Laura mengapa Laura mengapa Laura meminta meminta Marta untuk pergi ke supermarket. Oke. Okay. So the reason is because she wanted to buy enough groceries for the whole week. Okay. Ah, okay. So beside that, the first uh the first excuse that she she asked Martha is because uh she she couldn't go to the market, right? Yes, she could because actually the mom. As Laura, so, uh, ma, ibunya meminta Laura untuk pergi ke supermarket. Tapi si Laura ini meminta Marta. Nah, uh, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Jadi awalnya begini, the mom asked Laura. But Laura told Marta instead to go to the market. Now, so the question is, why this Laura asked Martha instead of her going to the market? Jadi uh, pertanyaannya itu uh, sebenarnya begini. Mengapa Laura meng menyuruh Martha pergi ke, ke, su ke supermarket dan bukan dia yang pergi ke supermarket? Begitu. Jadi it's implicitly saying like that. Because on the situation, this the mom asked Laura instead of Martha. Oh yes, because like she try again. Um, be, uh -huh. Because Laura, she done with her homework. 
Yes, okay. Because Laura, repeat again so I can write, please. Uh, because Laura then did her homework. Uh, can you uh, uh, can you ex uh, explain in Indonesian? Uh, karena karena Marta mau mengerjakan pekerjaan rumah. Laura, you mean Laura, right? Karena Laura yang meminta Marta pergi. So the one is going to the market is going to be Marta instead of Laura. Jadi yang pergi ke supermarket itu Marta. Laura itu gini. Ibu meminta Laura. Laura tidak bisa pergi. Kemudian Laura meminta Marta. Jadi yang pergi ke supermarket itu adalah Marta. Right? So Laura asked Marta to go to the to the market because Laura needs to finish his her homework. Alright, jadi Laura yeah. harus menyelesaikan uh, pekerjaan uh, project sekolahnya ya. Oke, okay. let's go check. I think uh, there's a conversation talking about the uh, school project Laura, here. Sebab Laura mau menyelesaikan pekerjaan rumahnya. School project. School project. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So you got it already. Let's go back there. Next. Answer. Because Laura. Because Laura needs to finish her school project. Okay, or you can answer like this, or because uh, Laura meminta uh, Marta pergi ke supermarket karena Laura belum menyelesaikan uh, uh, proyek sekolahnya, At, uh, uh, karena Laura harus menyelesaikan proyek sekolah, atau you can answer also uh, karena Laura belum menyelesaikan tugas sekolahnya, yes? Or yeah. you can say Laura, Or Laura has has hasn't finished because Laura the, hasn't uh, finished her project school. Yes, yes, very good. Her school project. Yes, very good. Okay, you have any other question, Miss Penny? Thanks, Miss. Uh, very good. All right, clear, right? Okay. All right, so, wow, time flies really fast, huh? Okay. Now, okay, so uh, we'll continue again with the comprehension test next week. Okay, guys, uh, we'll continue from uh, number C to so on all right guys try to answer re, uh, repeat the conversation understanding the story in in there and then uh, try to answer as much as possible before we continue with the lesson next week okay guys okay so i'll end the class tonight guys okay eight o'clock really fast huh Okay. Thank you, I'll see you, you guys. Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.